Hi everybody, welcome to the Wednesday meditation. Today we're going to look at um, Psalm 22 verses 1 through 5. This is um, a Psalm of David. It's a plea for deliverance from suffering and hostility. Verses 1 through 5. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. Now this psalm is is a psalm for deliverance from 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 suffering and hostility, um, and it's a very real suffering. It's it's something that's present, um, not imagined. Um, and from this psalm, I get the feeling of a separation. You know, uh, the psalmist is saying, "Why are you so far from helping me?" Um, there's some sort of separation, and I and I feel like. Over the past year, we have experienced this great separation, separation from our jobs, um, from our uh, loved ones, from our activities, from just going out to eat, from grocery shopping in the normal way. There's been a lot of, of separation. There's been a lot of distance put between us and everything that we normally do and, and the people that we normally see. It's, it's, it's been a year of suffering um, as we approach next week, this, this one year mark for uh, COVID. And even though quarantine is not in full effect, it's still not back to where we were. And this suffering that we're feeling from this separation, um, it really sucks. It really does. Um, this psalm, in Psalm 22, the psalmist, I feel like, has a heart that feels separated from God. It, it reflects the psalm. The psalmist is reflecting a time when God just doesn't feel close. Um, the psalmist feels like God doesn't care. Um, and how often do we um, do our feelings conflict with the truth about God? Like, the psalmist here feels like God is not close, but I think that God hasn't left him, right? So there's this song by uh, Lauren Daigle, and the lyrics, um, I think the name of it is You Say. The lyrics go something like, you say I am loved, or you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. You say I am strong when I think I am weak. You say I am held when I'm falling short. When I don't belong, you say I am yours. I'm trying to sing the song in my head. The feelings, when we feel things, that when our feelings tell us that God doesn't care, we need to trust our faith to remind us of God's love. You know, our feelings kind of sometimes fool us into thinking that God has hidden his face from us. Um, and our faith can can open our hearts um, to show us that God will never leave us or forsake us. You know, our feelings are, are our feelings are, are human, right? They're fickle. They're, they're, they often crush our spirit and they make us feel alone, right? But faith will give us hope. Um, and it's in these times of when you're feeling really separated from God or from other people because other people are God's creation and, and they reflect the image of God. And when we're separated from them, we feel separated from God in a way. Um, think about the, this psalm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus quotes this psalm from the cross. You know, beginning with feelings of separation as Christ suffers. And this entire psalm, I'm sure, or I think... <laughs> ran through his mind until his, until he heard towards the end of the psalm, it says, 
uh, in verse 24, for he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. We need to cling to this faith that God will not hide his face from us. I think Jesus was clinging to this faith that God would not hide God's face from us. During our trials and our separations, we need to not trust, not rely on our feelings, but to rely on our faith because sometimes our feelings can be misleading to us. So I challenge you this week that whenever you're feeling separated from people or from your activities or from God in any way, that you push towards your faith to see how God is still very, very close to you. So let us pray. Dear Jesus, we know that in your humanity you felt suffering and pain, thirst and hunger, but the feelings did not sway you away from your mission and your call to give your life away. Help us in our weaknesses to not just focus on how we feel. May our commitment to live for you be unwavering. May all lies be silenced. May we live knowing you are a strong tower or a deliverer, our refuge and our strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope everybody has a great week.